My name is Raymond Gasser. I am a professor uh, emeritus and also professor of clinical anatomy at Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I was fortunate to have access to collections of human embryos that I could study. And so I did my doctorate degree uh, on developmental, development of the face, facial muscles. And uh, I've worked with other people in development also. I, I corresponded with Blechschmidt uh, in 1972 and I was eligible for a sabbatical at my university. And I admired his work, his reconstructions especially. And so I wrote a letter to him I tried to write it in German because I knew he didn't speak English. Uh, turns out I didn't speak, I didn't, couldn't write too much German. Uh, they laughed about it later, <laughs> my letter. Anyway, he said, sure, come over. And I, I have a place for you in my lab. I had just put together my Atlas of Human Embryos. And so I knew a pretty good amount of what the embryo looked like at different stages. And that helped me an awful lot to understand what Blechschmidt was saying, and what his concepts were about. We worked together um, in 73, in the early part of 74, and then during, and I went back to my university. I was there for a little while, and then Blechschmidt asked me if I would come back to Germany again and stay in his home in, in uh, Göttingen. And uh, we worked on the English edition of the Biokinetics book. We didn't finish it, but we got a lot of it done. And so when I went back to my university, he would send me uh, rough translations of each chapter. And then I would read over them and try to make them a little better English. And then he would take them, I'd send them back to him, and then back and forth till we got it where we wanted it. Uh, there was a conference in Bethesda, Maryland at the NIH in 19, around 1978. And the man that was in charge of the conference knew of Blechschmidt's work and asked if he would be possible for him to come to the United States. I said, well, I'll telephone him and find out. So he said, yes, I'll come if my son Martin can come with me. And so they came and flew here, flew to the United States, and spent about a week. Uh, and he, he didn't want to leave his hotel. I think he was a little bit intimidated by Washington, D.C., because, you know, he was professor uh, in Göttingen during World War II. 
And his institute was the only building in the whole city of Göttingen that was destroyed. And it was because it was located next to the train station. And they, the bombers, were trying to, not, to, to bomb the train station. And instead, they hit his institute, blew it up. And fortunately, that particular lunchtime, he usually ate his lunch in his office, but he decided he would go home for lunch. And when he came back, there was nothing but a big hole in the ground. And so he had to struggle for the rest of the war uh, with whatever the university could give him to teach medical students. They gave him an old dilapidated building that was falling apart. And that's where he taught the medical students. But when I came for sabbatical, he had a new institute. They deal with the same facets of physics. Uh, how it's used in uh, in the in a daily practice of osteopathy, I'm not sure. I don't know enough about osteopathy to say. I know that they are very interested in it, and I am always I'm very pleased to present to them the embryology of it and there's. Uh, it's human, so it's when humans grow up or they're born, uh, then osteopaths treat them. But it's the same biokinetics and biodynamics that's operating uh, after birth as before birth. I think it's important for osteopaths to understand what is going on in early development, how the body came to develop the way it did. And uh, there was uh, these metabolic fields are there throughout life. And so if they understand them early, then they could have, they could appreciate them more later. I love the friendliness of Italians. They love to have a good time. They love to have dinner together and talk, 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 talk. And they eat for hours just to be with another person. That's beautiful. Of course, the, the architecture and all this, the different cities are so beautiful. Uh, well, there, we've been to so many. Venice, of course, is a unique place. And uh, we've been to Milan, to Florence, to Rome, to Sardinia, to Sicily. Uh, now uh, to Pescara. We, uh, I've enjoyed very much seeing Pescara for the first time. And the people here have been so wonderful to my wife and me. So I will always remember this occasion and hopefully one day we'll come back.